Are you willing to learn English and be able to express yourself fluently and confidently? All you need is to start learning English right now. Good day everyone! I am happy to serve you today. This is Teacher Gids, isang maestrong Pinoy. And if you want to be fluent and confident in using the universal language and improve your English grammar as well, this video is for you. So please do subscribe on my YouTube channel, Sir Gids TV, and kindly share this video. Pakiclick na rin po ang ating notification bell para lagi po kayo updated sa ating mga susunod na video upload. Okay! Today's vlog is a continuation of our previous vlog. Iyan yun nakikita niyo po sa inyong screen. And just like what I have promised, I will share with you some English phrases and sentences that we can use in our daily conversation para mas humusay pa po tayo sa pagsasalita ng English. Ito rin yung madalas kong ginagamit sa aking mga pupils during our reading drill in the morning before we start our lesson. And one thing is for sure, na kapag lagi natin itong ginagamit, ina-practice or ina-apply sa pakipag-usap natin whenever possible, unti-unti ay magiging mahusay tayo sa pakipag-usap gamit ang salitang Ingles. So, huwag na po natin patagalin pa. Let's start! Tayo mga Pinoy, usual na sa atin ang pagiging friendly. At mahilig din po tayo sa kumustahan moment. So, what will you say if you want to ask how someone is? For sure, number one na sa listahan natin ang tanong na How are you? At syempre, kadalas ang isasagot naman natin sa ating kausap, I'm fine. Thank you. So this time, let's level it up by using these phrases and sentences kapag gusto mong kumustahin ang isang tao. How's it going? How you doing? How are things? How's life? How have you been? How's your family? What's up? What's new? What have you been up to lately? Yan! So we can use this time, let's take a look of the ways to say thank you. Bilang tao, kinakailangan maging appreciative tayo. Maliit man o malaki ang blessings. Or, kung may natanggap man tayong pabor or tulong sa kapwa. And to extend our sincerest gratitude, we can say, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks a million. Or para mas level up, pwede natin sabihin, Thanks for your help. Thanks for helping me. I really appreciate it. I am really grateful. That's so kind of you. I can thank you enough. I owe you one. Yung last, pwede natin gamitin kung gusto mong tumanaw ng utang na loob in the near future. Okay. So these are the ways to say thank you. It's now your turn. Read this with confidence.
Now let's move on. These are the ways to respond to thank you. Ano bang pwede natin sabihin kung may nagsabi sa ating thank you? You're welcome. No problem. No worries. Don't mention it. My pleasure. Anytime. Glad to help. Sure. It was the least I could do. Now it's your turn. I want you to read this with confidence. That's great! Now let's have this English phrases and sentences with Tagalog translation that we can use in our daily conversation. Where are you going? Saan ka pupunta? Where have you been? Saan ka nang galing? I'm just kidding. Nagbibiro lang ako. Have you eaten your breakfast already? Kumain ka na ba ng almusal? Yes. I have eaten my breakfast already. Oo or opo, kumain na po ng almusal. What is your ambition in life? Ano ang pangarap mo sa buhay? My ambition is to be a millionaire. Ang pangarap ko ay maging milyonaryo. Is this yours? Sa'yo ba ito? This is mine. Sa akin ito. What do you want to eat? Ano ang gusto mong kainin? I am really shy. Nahihiya talaga ako. Let me pray for you. Hayaan mong ipanalangin kita. Let us help each other. Tulungan natin ang isa't isa. Do not waste your time. Huwag mong sayangin ang oras mo. What did you say? Anong sinabi mo? I am losing my patience. Nauubos na ang pasensya ko. Do you know her? Do you know him? Kilala mo ba siya? Calm yourself and take a deep breath. Kalmahin mo ang sarili mo at huminga ka ng malalim. I want to help them. Gusto ko silang tulungan. Do not be disappointed. Huwag kang madismaya. What do you need? Anong kailangan mo? What happened to you? Anong nangyari sa'yo? I don't like the taste. Hindi ko gusto ang lasa. I will include you in my prayer. Isasama kita sa aking panalangin. So, yan guys. With matching acting pa yan. So, ilan lang yan sa mga English phrases and sentences na pwede natin gamitin sa araw-araw para sa pakikipag-usap natin sa ating conversation. So, marami pa yan. Everyday lang, practice lang tayo ng practice kahit paunti-unti. Matututunan natin at magiging mahusay din tayo sa pakikipag-usap gamit ang ating universal language. So, that's all for today. Thank you so much for your time to listen. I hope that you learned something from our discussion. And it's always my pleasure to help you in my own little ways. Muli, ako po si Teacher Gitz, isang maestrong Pinoy na nagsasabing, Always be a blessing to others and live a life that inspires and encourages. 